What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. Today we have a guide with the recon class in 2042. After this video, you know for the recon class, which are the best guns to play, the best specialists to use, the best gadgets to use, when do you play recon and how do you play the recon class. If close quarters combat isn't for you, then look to the recon class for strategic vantage point abilities. Recons like Pei, Casper and Raul look to avoid direct confrontation with the enemy front lines and instead look for backdoor opportunities for themselves and the team. Their equipment interferes with enemy systems and create weaknesses through subversion and sharing information about enemy positions. The main goal of the Recon class in 2042 is spotting players and try to kill them from a longer range. You do not want to be the aggressive player up close or the supportive player with the med crates or the ammo crates. You want to be more of in the back of the map trying to annoy enemy vehicles with Rao, spot players with Casper and Paik which is a specialist that doesn't really suit this uh, class in my opinion but can still be useful uh, to spot players up close. But the main thing you want to be using is Casper and Rao. The best guns to use for the recon class are the snipers and marksman rifles. The reason why is that you're going to be playing for longer range, you're going to be more of a spotting player. But also you have the extra perk of the immediate and constant steady scope with sniper rifles. This means it's very easy to take down longer range players with the snipers as your scope will be steady the entire time. Avoid using pretty much any other guns than the snipers and marksmen. Assault rifles and SMGs are not going to be the most useful unless you're using PAKE as well. If you run it, really want to be using PAKE. You also have the insertion beacon, so you can create some flanks with PAKE. Use the SMGs or the assault uh, rifle class. However, the you're not really getting the most useful perk uh, of the immediate and constant steady scope, uh, which is only for sniper rifles. So if you're deciding to go aggressive, which can be useful with the insertion beacon, try and stick to Pig and avoid using Casper and Rao. If you're more of the defensive player for longer range, stick to Casper and Rao so you can be as useful as you possibly can be. Your main goal is spotting players, but also you can uh, hack enemy vehicles uh, with both the drone if you're within a close range enough. And uh, with Rao, of course, his special ability is to hack vehicles. So you can be spotting players for your team, but you can also be annoying enemy vehicles. Destroying vehicles isn't really your main thing. You have the C5 explosions as gadgets, um, but I would personally stick to using the Soflam. Uh, the Tracer Dart can be very useful as well. You have the claim where you can use if you want to set up a good solid camping position. However, there's a lot of ways to avoid claymores, uh, but you can still use them if you want to make sure you're not getting shot from the back or if you have a little ladder set up where you want to be putting the claymore in front of. Personally, I would stick to the uh, Soul Flam. Uh, the proximity sensor can be super useful as well. The range isn't very far on it though, um, but you can be very useful. The C5 explosive can be useful if you're trying to hack vehicles and if they get close to you. Uh, but this won't happen too often as you're going to be more of the defensive player. Now when do you play the recon class? You play the recon class if not, there's not too many other people playing. Also, you want to be trying to use this uh, class on the more open maps as you're not going to be having the best spotting and sniper abilities on close range maps. But again, if you see too many recon players on your team, don't be one of them as well. There's never a worse thing as a team where almost half of the enemy team or the friendly teammates are sniping in the back of the map where you're trying to supposed to take objectives. Literally, if you see more than three players, if not two already, in the back of the map with a sniper class, it's enough. You don't want to be that third, fourth guy adding more spotting, uh, which is already being done enough. So if you see enough spotting drones in the sky, or if you see those two snipers in the back of the map, don't use the recon here. class, try and stick to other classes as you're going to be more useful for your team that way and avoid uh, becoming one of those useful or useless players, I would uh, say. So again, 
quick overview, use the snipers, play more defensive, there is a way to play aggressive of course with Paik and the insertion beacon. Try and help your team by hacking and spotting as many players as uh, you possibly can. And it's definitely made for the more defensive player that still wants to be useful, but you can definitely have more than enough uh, recon players very quickly. So keep that in mind. Hopefully this video was useful. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, leave a like and I hope to see you guys in the next video.